still got, actually both birds still got tail feathers coming in. Can't wait to get me here. Coco's gonna take it. Maybe I'll ride the pole. She likes the pole. No question. She loves the pole. Try to get to this field before bird season starts. Use all the jackrabbits for target practice. I'm still sitting on the telephone pole. She's very calculated. She'll wait till maybe gets a chase going. and then fly for the ball. I don't think we've got something going here. So there's the sun. A little side of her. Go pee pee again. She went to the ground. I don't hear anything. She's hauling ass. She on to something. Getting close to the ground. Never saw her flare up. Nope, she landed on a bush. I lost her. She was on a bush, but pretty far out. I don't see her now. She might have taken flight again. Come on, baby. Well, Coco showed up. She joined baby. She's pretty cavalier about her her hunting these days. And she would benefit by coming down and announcing her weight. Girls, we're up to strength now. 
No excuses. Let's get after him. Go, baby. Go, go, go. Both went to the ground. Both of them made a glom. But neither one of them made a catch. Coco's leading the charge now. now let's see what we got down here. This is irrigation that the jacks conduct in. Baby. Come here. Go, go. Come on, go, go. Baby. Here comes Coco. Baby's a kind of bird. She'll jump off the pole if she even sees a glimpse of a jackrabbit and start a chase. Coco, on the other hand, she's the kind of bird, she wants to see which way the rabbit's going before she'll bother to, to start a chase. If it were, uh, if it were just Coco, we would actually chase quite a few less jackrabbits and catch quite a few less jackrabbits. There we go. I saw that one. Right there. Oh yeah. Coco caught it.
Too much cocoa. A little bit more though. I think both of you had enough actually. Baby. <laughs> Get out. Small piece. Come Come on. 